they are masters of disguise, adapted assassins, the giants of the insect world. But what do they eat? And what's up with their arms? And how big do they actually get? Let's find out together in this episode all about mantids. I did say mantids. This is a praying mantis, but it's also a mantid. Mantids refer to an entire predatory group of insects in the order Mantidia. Mantis refers only to the genus Mantis. Basically, all mantises are mantids, but not all mantids are mantises. Across the many different species of mantids, there's plenty of variation between color, size, and other features. However, they all share a few defining traits. Mantids are among the largest of the insects, adults generally ranging from 2 to 5 inches long. A mantid's front legs are called raptorial legs because of the way they are modified. You can see them represented here on this Carolina mantis. Insects are distinguished from other arthropods by their body, which is made up of three main sections. The head, which has the mouth parts, large eyes, and a pair of antenna. The thorax, which usually has three pairs of legs in adults and one or two pairs of wings. The abdomen, which contains the digestive, excretory, and reproductive organs. Mantids have an elongated thorax that functions similarly to a neck allowing their triangular head, equipped with large compound eyes, to swivel almost all the way around. Mantids develop through three life stages. In the fall, depending on the species, 50 or more eggs are laid. The egg mass is a pale, frothy secretion when first laid. This secretion is attached to a plant stem, then hardens into a styrofoam-like egg case. The eggs overwinter within the protective egg case and hatch in the spring as tiny versions of the adult, called nymphs. Vernon here are Carolina mantis, hatched with about 100 other brothers and sisters earlier this spring. Now they all live in my garden, helping me to control the garden pests. Right. Insects are invertebrates, or animals that don't have backbones. They don't have any bones, really. Instead, they have an outer shell called an exoskeleton that gives them their structure. This exoskeleton is called the cuticle. Once formed, the insect cuticle cannot grow, kind of like how your shoes can't grow with you. Growth can only occur by a series of molts, during which new and larger cuticles form and old cuticles are shed, like getting a bigger pair of shoes. Although they resemble the adult, the nymphs may be a different color or pattern. As they go through incomplete metamorphosis, over the course of several months, they grow and molt several times. I have saved some of Vernon's old molts here, so you can see the comparative difference in size and how detailed they are. After six or seven instars, the mantids eventually develop wings as they reach adulthood in late summer or fall. After finding a mate, the female will start the cycle all over again by laying her eggs in the fall. If you're still here liking this video, let us know. And hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Mantids sit at the very top of the insect food chain due to several impressive adaptations. Insects have a special type of eyes called compound eyes. Compound eyes are made up of hundreds or even thousands of tiny, light-sensitive units. Each unit sees only a small part of the insect's surroundings, but all of them together create a mosaic image. Mantids have two large compound eyes on the sides of their head, but these aren't their only eyes. The three smaller eyes are used for detecting light sources. All these eyes work together to help the mantids efficiently locate and track prey. We don't think twice about turning our head to the left or to the right to look at something, but this is an incredibly rare ability in the insect world. Mantids are the only insects in the world that are capable of turning their head a full 180 degrees, an entire half circle. This allows the mantid to keep their bodies perfectly still 
while still scanning the environment all around them for prey. Stealth mode doesn't end there. The mantid is master of disguise. Typically, we see animals using camouflage to hide from predators, but mantids use it to better ambush their prey. Their body shapes and coloration vary wildly to better fit their surroundings. For example, there's an orchid mantis that lives in parts of Asia that almost perfectly matches the orchid bloom. Conehead mantises that live in southern Europe have a spiny crown on their head to help them blend in with the twigs and branches of the trees where they reside. There are even mantid species that will molt into more of a black color to blend in with the burnt and charred landscape left by wildfires. Some insects use specialized body parts to sting or inject venom into their prey. Mantids just have these crazy front legs. Their raptorial front legs resemble a folded pocket knife and are modified for grasping prey. These legs are fitted with long, sharp spines that fit into grooves on the opposite side. Side. Once prey is caught, there's really no escape. Mantids are carnivores, feeding on virtually anything they can catch. The list includes moths, flies, crickets, beetles, and grasshoppers. Larger species of mantids will also eat larger animals, such as frogs, lizards, or even hummingbirds. Mantids are ambush predators, or sit-and-wait predators. This means what it sounds like. Mantids commonly wait on flowers with their front legs raised up, poised to clamp down on whatever prey of appropriate size moves in front of them, including other mantids. Mantids are known to sway back and forth to mimic plants moving in a breeze while waiting. When a prey item comes by, they shoot part of their raptorial legs forward. The grasping response of the mantid is so incredibly fast, targeted prey rarely escapes. So the next time you're lucky enough to spot a mantid in your garden or on a nature walk, take a second to marvel at the wonderful adaptations that make these creatures apex predators of the insect world. And if you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next. Whoa, big jump. You're going to jump on me, aren't you? Don't do it. Don't. I see you looking at me like that. Don't do it.